So let me close it for now. And then I put it on a standard because it's default of that. And the next window is properties window. This is one of the very practical windows. So if you click on it, you will see a window in the name of properties. So let me pin it to fix it. So be careful at the first, you won't have any items here. As you can see, there is uh, the number of zero here. You know, actually the time that you want to see an item, you have to go, for example, on selection tree window and then click on an item. Or even you go on uh, the, the shape of the uh, screen and then click on it to see it. For example, if I click on this column here, you can see the information of that here. As you can see, materials, Revit material, Autodesk material, element base level, top level, and also you can use this sign to just be able to have access to other features of that too. You know, actually, you have to be careful that uh, all of the items that you see here uh, actually are based on the exports that you've got from Navisworks. And then they are being shown here. And because we've got export from Revit here and we've used the plugin there, we haven't still got the settings of that plugin, that how it is done. Actually, the settings of that plugin will help you to actually what tabs you need there. For example, I'm in here, uh, Navis Work Settings. And if you click on it, you, you will see some settings here that it will tell you what things you can see there or you cannot see there. For now, I'm not going to talk about that right now. Just a tool to get acquaintance with it a little. So if you choose more than two items, you cannot see anything in that window. Just it will write for you how many items you've selected. So let me go to the group again here. Yes, here and here. Look at it here. Yes, it won't show any item to you. And also any information. Uh, actually, a very interesting note that you have to know is the shape of these icons that you can see here. Actually, every icon behind these names is a kind of reference. So if you know the icons, you can find everything that you want very sooner than other times that you want to use. So in fact, I will just show them to you and I will talk and explain them uh, one after one. Yes. The first item that you can see, uh, there is a document that you can see a box on it. Uh, it means, uh, just let me open the paint of windows. It's, it's like a rectangle, if you just consider a rectangle here. Uh, let me erase this angle and this part. And then I join it by this tool. Uh, and then at the end, we have another box here, something like it. Uh, as you can see here, if we have an icon like this before or behind the name, it, it means and it shows it's a model. Uh, it shows that, for example, you've entered a file from AutoCAD or Revit. If you click on it, all of the files will be shown to you. You know, the time, it is good that, for example, let me just append here. Or, for example, let me go on into the Revit. And let me just export the ar architectural file of that. And yes, let me export it that we can see here. And here, let me go here, export. And now you see now this works. I don't go through settings at all. And just, I export it. Let me go back again to mechanical things. And then file, export, and WC. And then again, I will export it and I will wait until it is done. So I exported them actually. And then we go into app and of course in future we'll talk about this. So for now I will choose them. Actually, uh, we go for NWC architectural file and structural file that you can see them here. Also mechanical things. Actually, as you can see, each one is a file. Mechanics, structure, and architecture. So this sign is a sign of a file that you can see there. So let me open one of them, for example, structure. 
If you see the next item, it's like some papers on each other. It shows layers or levels. If you export it uh, by AutoCAD, it's layers, and it's if it is by Revit, it means it's levels. Or in architecture, here and here. And here you can see no levels, those ones that uh, are not dependent to any level. And actually, for example, here we have one or two rooms that I can go through architectural file to find the two rooms that I need. So if I cannot find the rooms that I need, I can go, I can go on a schedules part and then I can make a room schedules. Here I can find them easier and then I can delete them. You see here I have two rooms and then here I can delete them and again uh, I can just export it on the same file that you had before you'll get familiar with all of them in future let me again return to Navisworks and I refresh it let me tell you something if you're just using this Navisworks for the first time and you don't have any files to use you can go on application menu and open sample files. Your Navisworks has some files here, near 10 to 15 files. Let me click on samples and just let me open it out of the software. Let me show it to you. I just look at here. Here we have different files. You can just come here, open files, and just look at them. For example, if I want to open one of them, just for example, for example, Bath City or here, you can see, for example, some logos. Or, for example, here, you can see some other information. You can actually just copy them. Let me just open uh, the Shape Manager here. I can import it from here. Type star and then enter. Here, you can have NWF. And then I double click on it to see what will open. Uh, you can see this is the file. Uh, for example, this is uh, stadium. Um, like this. So if you don't have any files to use, you can use the samples that software has given to you. So to delete the file, I can go on the last item again and just click, have right click on this item and delete it. Or even AutoCAD, if you don't need it, you can just delete everything that you don't need, you can delete them.